This video is brought to you by Brilliant. More at the end about their fantastic platform. Something new is flying in the cold skies above the Arctic Circle. A stealthy flying wing armed with 12 hypersonic cruise missiles moving unnoticed towards its target. But it's not a US made B-2 nor the new B-21 prototype, rather it has red stars on its wings. Strategic bomber aviation has been a long time pride of the Soviet and Russian Air Force and now the time has come for it to enter the new era of warfare. One where it's all about preemptive strikes, stealthy aircraft and hit and run doctrine. This is the story of the first new Russian bomber after 40 years of silence. A new cutting edge design or just another expensive project with no future. Let's dive into the secrecy behind the Pakta or as the Russians call it, the Messenger. The United States has been downsizing their bomber fleet in the recent years with the total coming very close to the number of active bombers in the Russian Air Force. For a long time there was a wish in both the US and Russia to move on from the workhorses like the B-52 and 295, two of the longest serving bombers to this day. However, instead of retiring, both are undergoing or have undergone upgrades to push their lifespan to beyond 2030. When it comes to stealth technology though, the USA generally takes the cake. Everything from the original stealth F-117 Nighthawk to the upcoming B-21 Raider, all of which should put the country on the map or rather off it when it comes to clandestine missions across the world. That however might be about to change as Russia gears up to start flight testing its new top secret bomber project. Now fair warning before we get into it, it can be a little bit hard to discern between fact and ambitious propaganda, so until this plane is cruising in the skies, its specifications might be rather up in the clouds so to speak. Dubbed the Pakta, it's a next generation strategic bomber under development at the legendary Tubalev Design Bureau. Pakta itself stands for Perspective Aviation Complex for Long Range Aviation. And long range it will be, with 12,000 kilometers operational range it will have the ability to fly from Moscow to any city in North America, Rio in Brazil and even Darwin in Australia. G'day mate. It doesn't have to worry about refueling as it can fly its four crew members subsonically for up to 30 hours to circle targets or to be hidden deep in the clouds until needed. These engines are so powerful that they can work in minus 60 to plus 50 degrees centigrade and survive the effects of even a nuclear explosion. With its 30 ton weapon capacity it will be able to carry everything from conventional bombs, nuclear missiles and in the future hypersonic weapons. So where is this miracle new plane? To understand where we are now, we have to go back to where it all began, the Tupolev Tu-160. The supersonic strategic bomber has been a staple of the Russian Air Force for decades ever since it first rolled out in 1981. However, for those viewers who might not have been born in 1981, this is a long time ago. Despite being the fastest, heaviest and largest supersonic bomber still in use today, among many other records, its technology is based on what was available back in the 1980s. Warfare has changed since then and new strategic bombers are more often doing the role of a cruise missile carrier rather than a regular bombing missions with guided or unguided bombs. Russians know this and saw how the US used their bombers in recent conflicts and have started learning from their experiences. 
While there have been rumours of this project back in the 1990s, the first concrete effort to create a new bomber project was in 2007, when the Russian Air Force gave the first set of technical and tactical requirements for the new bomber. The main idea was to create a new aircraft that would be able to match or surpass all the current characteristics of the Tu-160 with the exception of the supersonic speed, which is sacrificed for stealth and maximum load capacity. A number of the 2160s were lost during the dissolution of the USSR, with them being stationed in Ukraine at the time. And the Russian bomber fleet has been lacking in that segment, which led to both the need for the Pakta and for a modernization and renewal of the 2160 production line. But I'll get back to that in a bit. In 2013, the development was confirmed to have a subsonic flying wing design with an emphasis on stealth technology over speed. Kuznetsov Design Bureau was awarded the contract to develop the new engines named NK-65 based on the NK-32 engines currently used by the Tu-160. By 2019, it was confirmed that prototyping was in full swing at the Kazan Aviation Plant and it's expected to have ground testing sometime in 2022 with a possible first flight between 2023 and 2024. But let's dig a bit deeper into what actually is the combat purpose and the future of this aircraft. And is the message from the Russian messenger actually getting through? For the first time in their operational history, Russian bombers have had the opportunity to perform combat roles. During 2015 and 16, the 295, 222M and 2160 have flown multiple missions in Syria in various roles. The 2160s performed attacks with the new Car 101 cruise missiles, while the 222Ms and 295s performed sorties with both cruise missiles and bombs, testing out the new SVP-24 Hervestus targeting system, which basically turns dumb bombs into at least a semi-guided munition, similar to the US's JDAM, but still lacking in precision. This is important to understand the future of both the 2160 and the Pacta. In 2015, it was announced that the production of the 2160 would be renewed, with all the current aircraft to be modernized and new ones to be built with the designation 2160M2, having a new modernized engines, avionics, comms, glass cockpit, etc. A total of 50 new airframes are planned, with two already delivered. So what does that mean for the Pacta? First of all, focus will be on missiles as the main weaponry. Hypersonic missiles like the King Zhao and the new Ha-92 will be featured for sure along with the stealthy Ha-101 and 102 cruise missiles. As we already mentioned, stealth has been chosen over speed with extremely long range and great payload capacity. This all leads to be the idea of Russia actually creating a capable preemptive strike aircraft which can hit anywhere in the world. With the US and Russia relations getting worse in recent years, this this might be a clear sign that Russia wants to be in the same position as the US with its first strike capabilities and use this to either further escalate or de-escalate the current situation. Only time will tell. It's also worth mentioning that this aircraft design isn't actually the only stealth strategic bomber under development. There is also the Chinese Xi'an H-20, a first for the nation, and will look a lot like the B-2 flying wing bomber. Little is known about this project, only that it will have an estimated range of at least 8,500 kilometers and will allow China to reliably reach targets as far away as Hawaii from the mainland, with its 10 tons of conventional nuclear weapons. But just like the Pacta, the Xi'an H-20 is more of a paper project than a reality and timelines are ever evolving as production and testing continues. And it remains to be seen if the world will watch and learn. Speaking of learning, if you want to help design the aircrafts of the future, then the best place to start is with today's video sponsor, Brilliant. 
learn interactively. Brilliant has a huge range of hands-on lessons on maths, physics and more, and because they're so engaging, you're up to six times more likely to understand than watching lecture videos. Brilliant is also perfect for all ability and knowledge levels, massively boost creative problem-solving skills, and help you solve real-life problems, all with very clear and intuitive examples. I, for one, use Brilliant's courses on classic mechanics to better understand the very machines that you're watching right here. After all, these are real-life designs and deserve real-life animations thanks to Brilliant. There are many other courses from solar energy to cryptocurrency, so I'll let you dive in. If you want to get started for free, then use my link down in the description. Head to brilliant.org slash found and explained to get started, and the first 200 listeners will also get 20% off an annual membership. Hey, it's Future Nick here. I thought I would just do a quick little thing about the actual 3D model and the 3D design that we used in this video today, just to sort of point out some of the little flaws that uh, some of the viewers have noticed and to just get it sort of out of the way. A lot of people have said that it, it wouldn't exactly be a stealth uh, bomber if it's got these exposed sort of See these exposed uh, jet engines here? Like, that doesn't make a lot of sense for a stealth bomber to have this. In fact, we don't even know how many engines this new aircraft will have. So just take that with a little bit of grain of salt. And then, of course, it's not really a flying wing, considering that it's got this middle fuselage part here and then two obvious wings on the side. So flying wing design is a little bit sort of vague in this, this case. Of course, we also have these winglets here that will help with the range, but that's actually not going to help its stealth characteristics. So, yeah, take it with a little grain of salt and just think about a little bit Hollywood movie magic rather than actual aircraft design. But if you yourself wants to get ahead of the game, just like Russia in the development of their new aircraft, then why don't you become a Patreon? As a Patreon, you get to see videos early, make suggestions, and even talk with me direct. We also have channel members as well, if you prefer to stay on YouTube. So to keep this video short, thank you so much for watching.